Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress site under construction page. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we'll go to this website, I'm building this website for a customer of mine and it's just a, a demo site at the moment and we want to put an under construction page right so i'm just got a custom url here at the moment and we'll migrate this to the correct url once the site's been completed but we don't really want anyone to see this um while the site has been built right so what we can do is um we can log into this admin control panel and we're going to go over to the um plugins here and we're going to add a new plugin so we'll click add new plugin and we're going to search for wp maintenance mode and we're going to click install. We we'll just wait a few seconds for this to install. And then we'll click activate. So as default, if you go underneath settings, you'll see WP maintenance mode. I'm going to tick this off and then we're going to activate it. And we're going to go down and click save settings. So if we go back to the website and refresh it, we see we don't see any under construction page. That's because we're logged in as admin. So we need to copy this URL and open it in a new web browser. So it can be Firefox, Internet Explorer, any other web browser where you can see. Now you can see maintenance mode, right, written here. So anyone else that's viewing this website will see this maintenance mode. It looks, it's not the best, is it, right? It's just like some white text and it's fine, but we can improve this a little bit. So we can put a logo there and maybe a bit of information about the business. So let's update this maintenance page. So we're Really we need two web browsers open we need a one that where we where we're not logged in as admin which is firefox at the moment and then we can just press the alt key and the tab key to bounce between these two pages right so use alt and tab and that will allow us to go between the admin and this under construction page so let's go back to the admin control panel and we've got some options in here right so the first you know these are just some basic standard options so that you can bypass search bots um you can set up certain roles and stuff like this but for now you know we're, we're going to leave this as it is really right the robot meta tag data we could set it to no index because really we don't want to index this particular page so we should really set that to no index we don't really want to uh, index that page but we can go over to design now and in design the first thing that we see is maintenance mode written here and maintenance mode written up here these two places uh, this is the title this is the h uh, this will be the the page title at the top so really in here i just want to write something like clean coal website coming soon right something like this and i'll click save and then i'll press alt tab to bounce over here refresh it and now i can see clean coal website coming soon so something a bit more meaningful right and then this maintenance mode i don't really want this i'm just going to delete this but you can change it to a different title if you want and click save and that will get rid of this black text here now that's gone now we just got this uh, under construction or under maintenance yeah so let's um do something here let's get rid of this text here and we'll go ahead and click add media and we'll click on the the logo here and we'll click insert and let's click save and then we'll go back here and now we can at least see the company logo here right the company logo and then underneath we can write website coming soon or something like this or website under construction depends if, if it's a new website then it might say website coming soon if it's um uh just a maintenance mode then you might just say website under maintenance please check back in 20 minutes or something right so let's just assume that it's more of a um um a landing page right or something like this to say that the website's under construction so let's go back to the tools here we can center out this logo but as default is centered anyway we'll hit the enter key and what we can do you've got two options you can either click this to view full screen but if you're using chrome we can just drag down here and i kind of like to just drag down and then we can center out some text and we can just write in here um something like exciting times and then we can just write something like new website launching soon all right and then we can take that text and center it out now we've got two blocks of text here we can just save this let's just go back and refresh and then we can just see exciting times new website launching soon and there's quite a few other things we can do with this plugin right you can choose the background color so you can you know change the background color you can choose colors here as well right now it's set as default black maybe we'll set it to like a blue and save it then if we go back and refresh now you've got this blue background if you want to do like a blue background but really we just want to leave it as a, a white background let's just save this and we'll just leave it as a white background like this 
and we can go over to uh, modules and in modules we can show a countdown so we can click here and say yes and the start date so when will this website launch let's say it's going to launch on uh tuesday right tuesday next next week we we're, we're sunday today right now and it says countdown time uh, remaining the amount of days and the minutes so let's just say uh we want it to be two days one hour and 23 minutes and then we'll go down and save this and we've enabled it here so when we go back and let's go back to this site and refresh it now we've got a countdown here right so we can show a countdown launching soon and then you can change the color of the countdown you can show uh subscribe icons as well here so look show subscribe well this is actually a form so if we say yes notify me uh when it's ready and we click save we go back here and refresh now you've got this little form that someone can fill out and uh they can you, you'll receive that to your admin email right so notify me and they can fill out the form we can go back here and we can show your social icons so we can click uh yes and then we can take some social icons so for now i just think we'll use my dcp ones right so as an example so let's just go to my home page let's go to my profile so this is my twitter profile let's put in twitter here and then we can go to facebook as well as an example we'll just use these two for now and then you can add other ones as well you can add instagram pinterest google plus is obsolete it shouldn't really be in here uh, you've got linkedin as well and all these other ones so we can go down and we can click save and then we can go back to our page and refresh it and now we've got little social icons you click on them and it will open a new window you could you know you could custom all customize all of this you could put them underneath here if you wanted to upload them as icons as well and then you could uh, place them here for example let's go back here and see what else we've got we've got um show contact so i think we've done actually we haven't done this let's click yes and then we could do something like info at clean dash code dc dcp mix.com as an example and then you've got this like effects move top bottom down so let's just we'll, we'll experiment with that in a second let's just check it refresh now you've got this little contact button right so people can click that and it will show this little form and the form drops down so if we go back and if we say something like uh, zoom and then save it when we go back and refresh and click set now it's kind of zooming in can you see the zoom and the other one drop down i prefer let's see what the other one does as well uh fold unfold let's save that refresh it let's go back refresh and then click here and it kind of like swivels unfolds right you can see that here like this so which one do we prefer i kind of like the drop down one so let's just say move down analytics we're not really going to enable because we don't really want to capture analytics on this under construction page but if you did want to you could say yes enable google analytics as well uh enable ip uh let's see read about this here google analytics this is a way to enable so i haven't really looked at that too much so you can put your tracking code in here as well your google analytics tracking tracking codes when you enable analytics you need to put the code in here this option here i'm going to have to read up a little bit more about it so maybe we'll make a second tutorial explaining that separately uh but let's go back to here and refresh it and now we've got this form sliding down and there's a few other options in here uh, you can actually create a little bot a little chat bot so if we go over to the chat bot and activate it um, we can say clean coal and you can upload a little avatar let's just use our little social media icon let's just use that and then it says message one hi my name is bot so clean coal clean coal uh, let's see oh, we can just leave it. hi my name is clean coal uh let's say let's put a real name in here something like l u c lucy right something meaningful so it would say hi my name is lucy i am the owner of this website and i'd like to uh you know be your assistant here i have a few questions what is your name so they type in the name so the person's response will be they type in the name message for nice to meet you visit a name so whatever name they type in will get displayed here so nice to meet you paul if they type in paul um how can you see our website how can you see our website will be launching very soon so it doesn't really make too much sense here so we can just change this to um our website will be launching very soon i know you are very excited to see it but we need a few days to finish it would you like to be the first to see it and then the response is tell me more uh maybe just something like maybe later 
and then the message eight call please leave your email here and i will send you a message when it's ready so they type in the email address um then there's like sad to hear that visit name see you next time that's the response for the fail and then the response is got it thank you see you soon that would be the response for the positive right and then have a great day let's click save settings here and then we'll go back to it's activated now and if we refresh this the logo like you can see the little icon here right here and then we'll still got the timer ticking down we've still got the form that pops up but here we can see all the messages what's your name let's just type in john and you can see lucy written here right that was the bot name we'll click john and then it will say hello john how are you nice to meet you excellent and then it will say our website's launching very soon would you like to hear about it let's just wait that would you be like to first tell me more maybe later so when we look down here we said tell me more maybe later and we say tell me more because we want a positive action and then it says calls please uh please leave your email address or we just type in info at clean hyphen co co.co.uk so just make this email address up let's click send and it will say thank you i'll let you know uh, when this website is going to go live right so this would be, be a bit more for under construction page but you can do any sort of questions and answers in here so you can customize this uh this little bot here to um customize it for your particular messaging for your business depending on what it is so we've still got the timer ticking down and the the logo and the text kind of disappears when you start this box i assume the bot is really for capturing the data and giving the message to the customer right so if we were to deactivate the bot and save it and then go back then we'll be back to our timer down here and the subscribe here so it's up to you whichever one you use but it's kind of one or the other rather than um them functioning all at the same time um if we go over to modules and here you can see status and you can see csv export so when you run the chatbot when you run that chatbot you can actually um capture the data here and then you can capture those email addresses here or from notify me uh here as well so you put an email address in here let's just do blog blogger at gg.com right just some email subscribe and then if we go back here and refresh now you can see there's two here one was from the chatbot and then the other one was from the form that i just filled out here this form here right the uh notify me when you're ready that form okay so there's lots of different ways to to build these under construction pages or uh, these maintenance pages and you'll just switch up the settings depending on whether you want it to be a maintenance mode or whether you want it to be a um, under construction page it depends on what you want it to be and then um, we can make some more amendments to this obviously the, the, the design here isn't the best but we can improve that maybe I'll make a separate tutorial showing you how to improve the design but bottom line is if you've got an under construction page you you should only be putting that page up um, you know you know maybe a couple of days before the website is going to go live you don't want this sitting here for like 10 weeks it doesn't make sense right you could do that if you wanted to i guess but um the maintenance mode should really be something that goes up temporarily and then you, you you remove that maybe after a few hours after you've done whatever you need to do but at least you can still capture some data and if any customers are visiting your website uh, you can still capture some sort of information so i'll leave you to go and experiment with this i think it's quite a nice tool um you know it's just a basic tool really but i think it's quite a nice way to, to quickly build under construction or website coming soon pages using wordpress and that particular plugin and best of all the plugin is free right wp maintenance mode is a free plugin that you can install and use so go and check out the developers right these are the people that made the plugin go and check out their their other options obviously they must have like um you know some paid options as well for different types of um themes and uh, and so forth so it'd be nice if you can go and purchase something from them as well i'll put um a link to this particular plugin in the youtube description but don't don't forget you can just go to plugins and the best way to find these plugins is click add new plugin and just type in what you want here and you'll type in wp maintenance mode to install that plugin so let's go ahead and minimize this that's how you go about creating a under construction page or maintenance mode page using wordpress wp maintenance mode i hope you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where i've got over 600 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects i'll be making lots more wordpress tutorials uh, over the next few weeks so if you'd like to learn more about wordpress then feel free to subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this 
video a thumbs up and if you want to learn something quite specific in WordPress if you're not sure about something then don't forget to comment in the uh, YouTube commenting and if I can find a way to help you I will do that okay that's the end of this tutorial I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial